chop, slice, cut, drain, spread. Do you know all of these words? In today's video, I'll help you understand recipes in English. We're gonna cook together and cover a lot of cooking verbs. Verbs are actions. So basically, we're gonna talk about what you do in your kitchen. One of the best ways of learning new vocabulary is visualization. So I want to cook with you and I'm going to show you everything. You and I are about to prepare a very basic dish, spaghetti. But guys, let's be honest, I'm terrible, terrible at cooking. It's going to be a hell of a challenge for me. First things first, let's gather our ingredients and utensils. A sip of water. By the way, to sip, it's our first verb, to drink water like this. So here I have a pot, you can also call it a saucepan. Here I have a frying pan, it can be also a pan, just a pan simply. A spatula, really useful. A what else? A, a knife and a cutting board. This is a cutting board, but I'm sure that you know this one because I hope you watched my last video. Obviously, this video is not sponsored by any brand, so these are just random objects that I found in a grocery store. Ready, steady, let's get started. First of all, we need to boil pasta in the pot. The first verb, to boil. So I'm gonna put a pot on the stove. Second verb, to put. And actually, I'm gonna boil water in the electric kettle. This is an electric kettle. And then I'm gonna pour it here. All right, guys, water is already boiled. I'm pouring water into the pot. I'm adding some salt to add something. I'm gonna turn the stove on using a knob. Here we are. We are preparing pasta al dente, which is like a little bit hard, a little bit soft, you know, this Italian style. And here it's written that we need to add pasta and boil for seven minutes. I'm adding pasta to add something. I never know how to do that well. Meanwhile, pasta is boiling, we're gonna start preparing the sauce for spaghetti. I'm pouring some oil into the frying pan. I'm peeling the onion. I'm like taking the layer out. You can also peel vegetables with a peeler. This is a peeler. So imagine that I have a carrot here and I peel it with a peeler. Meanwhile, I'm peeling my onion. Pasta is simmering. After a few minutes of boiling, we usually let pasta or rice simmer. To simmer means to cook something at the temperature just below boiling. These are slices. I'm slicing the onion. For example, this is a slice of bread because it was sliced. We had a loaf of bread and it was sliced. We usually use the word slice for pizza. For example, where can I get a good slice? Everybody would know that you mean a slice of pizza. I'm about to cry because of this onion, but now I'm gonna chop the onion. I'm just gonna cut it into smaller pieces. I'm chopping the onion. Here we could also use the verb to dice. Do you know what dice is? This is a dice. When you play board games, you use a dice. This is a dice. I can say, I'm dicing the onion. I'm just gonna chop the onion. I don't care about the shape. I just want it to be chopped. I could also grate something. This is a grater. And on a grater, you grate, for example, carrots or cucumbers. I'm not sure if you can grate the onion. I don't think so. But this is the next verb to grate. I'm already crying, guys, and stirring pasta. To stir. I'm adding onion to a frying pan to add. I'm gonna turn the heat down and I'm gonna stir the onion. I didn't chop it well. Uh, I definitely didn't chop it well. <laughs> Here we have our boiled pasta. Here I have a strainer and I'm gonna drain pasta. I'm draining pasta. 
I'm just gonna leave it here and let's go back to our sauce. This whole activity is to fry. Let's fry some onions. Let's fry some meat. Meanwhile, the meat is getting ready. Let me teach you some additional verbs. Verbs that we don't use while preparing spaghetti. To spread, I have a slice of bread here and peanut butter. I'm taking some peanut butter and spreading it on a slice of bread. I'm tasting some peanut butter to taste. Amazing, I love peanut butter. To measure, you can measure something with measuring cups. Here in the US, it's extremely popular to have these little cups at home and to measure, I don't know, flour, sugar, or whatever you want using measuring cups. Guys, now I'm seasoning my food. I'm adding salt, pepper, or some different herbs. This action is called seasoning, to season. This action is called to sprinkle. Although my spaghetti sauce is still in progress, we're gonna serve pasta. I almost lost it. Okay, here I have a plate. I need tongues to serve something to put it on the plate. Um, yeah, it's not really beautiful, I know, and my pasta is red because it's lentil pasta, but I believe it's gonna be good. I think it's time to clean up a little bit, so I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna throw this away, I'm gonna do the dishes, I'm gonna wash my cutting board knife here in the sink, so I'm gonna do the dishes. Actually, I'm gonna do the dishes later because now I'm too lazy. And we are about to pour our sauce in and then uh, season most probably uh, everything one more time. I'm about to have my delicious spaghetti. I hope it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna let you know in the comments and it's time to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something new, if I helped you somehow, consider subscribing to this channel and give this video a like to support my work. I see you on my Instagram where I share daily stories, a lot of new vocabulary, and you can get to know me better on my Instagram. Did I forget about any important cooking verbs? If yes, let me know in the comments. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.